I'm thinking about uh, the the monastery and the purpose of the, of our being here, the monastery uh, and the the way of life that we follow, the lifestyle, one of uh, simplicity, uh, renunciation, relinquishment, and how to optimize that for ourselves as residents, and also particularly for people who come in to tap in for uh, shorter periods of time. A lot of people come to take a break from the kind of chaotic nature of uh, worldly life these days. It's pretty stimulating and uh, kind of weird out there. <laughs> I, just got, <laughs> I just got back from a week's visit uh, with my family. Uh, and uh, it was actually a blessing in that uh, the TV was rarely on for, uh, for a change, so I didn't have to, uh, have to cope with that so much. But uh, both my brother and my sister seemed to be quite content with us just hanging out and talking. Uh, but being out and about and just in airports and going to and fro, the places that we went, uh, just how unsimple uh, the world is uh, and how unsimple it seems to be getting more. Um, and uh, just appreciating what the opportunity is here is to, to come and tap in. Uh, as a as a short term guest or even as a longer term resident, and to take advantage of this aspect of of relinquishment and uh, renunciation simplicity uh, and really use that uh, for our benefit, the Buddha talks about really not being able to uh, or that the path that the entire path is really one of complete complete relinquishment of all all acquisitions sabupadi patinisaga. And, you know, in its highest form, uh, it's relinquishment of the, the acquisitions that are referred to as the upadana kanda, the clinging, the five aggregates affected by clinging. We let go of the sense of ownership, self-involvement with uh, who we think we are, the body and the mind. Uh, and that's the ultimate relinquishment of all acquisitions. But it also starts with uh, just simplifying our immediate life, like here at the monastery. We let go of entertainment. We let go of the, the normal ways of, um, as in the chanting, uh, beautification, adornment, and entertainment, those kind of aspects that keep us involved more with attachments in the worldly way. And uh, you know, we set down um, the ways that we usually do, hopefully uh, take a break from media uh, as much as possible. I know some people still use cell phones and things while they're here, but the encouragement is to really set those aside, turn off, tune out, <laughs> uh, and uh, just decrease the amount of stimulation that uh, it, we're putting into our hearts and our minds. Uh, and to see the results of that, um, you know, at first there may be this sense of deprivation. You know, I need to have my late afternoon meal. I'm you know, starving myself to death, or or I'm not getting enough sleep, or you know, whatever it is that uh, the renunciation aspects here draw out in us. But that's good. We set this, these boundaries so that we can kind of see where our habits are entrenched. And, and most of us have quite a few of those worldly ways entrenched inside of us. So to check out from that, to enjoy uh, simplicity through a bit of sense restraint and, and simplification as the first stage of, of relinquishment of all the acquisitions. And of course, people who have made a long-term commitment to stay here through ordination are in the process of giving up much more in terms of the material acquisitions of life to make life even simpler. And, and contrary to the worldly way of looking at renunciation as uh, kind of a deprivation, uh, it's, it's, it's actually the door, the key uh, to freedom. The more we give up, the, the less we have uh, to feel a sense of responsibility, attachment, dependence on. So the time you're here, uh, take advantage of that and, and reflect on that. Uh, do I really need to be doing what it is that I'm about to do? Is it uh, commensurate with the goal of simplicity and peace and eventually the, the relinquishment of, of all the attachments of clinging? So I'll leave that for this morning. <laughs>